It's the dawn of a new era, as Australia's biggest public transport project comes to life. In the city's northwest, Sydney Metro in the first half of next year, 13 metro stations, 4,000 new parking spaces, a train every four minutes in the peak, and, for the first time in Australia, technology like platform screen doors, keeping people and objects like prams safely away from the tracks. A new generation of safe, reliable and sustainable metro trains. Fully accessible, every metro station for everyone. Making it easier for customers to get where they need to go. Australia's first fully automated metro railway. With future capacity for a train every two minutes at each direction. Under the centre of Sydney to where new metro rail is being extended deep under Sydney Harbour through the city and beyond to the southwest. New underground city stations and new opportunities above them. Delivering a sustainable modern railway has been a core focus of Sydney Metro. We've integrated our leading edge requirements directly into our contracts, ensuring a mechanism for their delivery which is accountable and achievable. Sydney Metro's engagement with ISCA has really helped improve performance across the market. We're seen as leading, we're leading by example. The fact that we have a partnership with a third party actually helps us communicate more broadly. We may have our contacts and supply chain, but ISCA has a far broader network across all of Australia and New Zealand. Sydney Metro's environmental and socio-economic contractual requirements has made it possible to ensure contractors deliver best practice in sustainability. Working hand in hand with our contractors and staff, we've delivered on these requirements and exceeded expectations. For Sydney Metro, sustainability has been imperative to being a good custodian of the environment. It's good for our business, it's good for the community. Sydney Metro has two obligations in relation to electricity. Uh, we have to provide electricity into our network and we've also got an obligation to offset the emissions from that electricity use. And what we've done is, is buy large generator certificates and that allows a solar farm called Beryl to be built in New South Wales. The process of procuring the Beryl solar facility, Sydney Metro has learned a great deal. A lot of our advisors have also learnt along the way. We're happy to share that. We work with others in industry and across government to help upskill them and actually provide information that can help them get their own offsets. Our projects generate a large amount of crushed rock that can be reused and we require our contractors to reuse all of it on North West. We reuse 5 million cubic metres, some of it going into brick manufacture. On Sydney and South West there'll be another 5 million cubic metres. That's a big initiative for us. Sydney Metro is providing new opportunities to develop a highly skilled workforce in the greater Sydney region, creating sustainable jobs ensuring transferable skill sets are developed and setting new benchmarks in quality, productivity and workplace health and safety. Building a workforce for today and a skills base for tomorrow and leaving a lasting legacy for future generations. We're really passionate at Sydney Metro about workforce development and industry participation and we're already seeing the benefits within community and our workforce. Sydney Metro's pre-employment program is a collaborative program, so it brings all stakeholders into the room. That's industry, our contract partners, our training organisations, our funding bodies, and we've designed a model that supports underrepresented groups, so diversity groups, as well as long-term unemployed or underemployed people into work on Sydney Metro. Sydney Metro Aboriginal participation is really important to us and we're looking at that from two aspects, increasing workforce participation and also increasing industry participation. So some of the programs we've done recently have targeted Aboriginal participants and we've had some really good successes. My name is Mark Mosby, I'm 37 years old. I am a Gaulay man from the Kulkar Gaul Nation in far north Queensland in the Torres Strait. I was previously at the ICC um, International Sydney Convention Centre and it's been like a month, mostly a month now that I've been unemployed. This is my dream, this is what I want. You want it? Chase your dreams and this is what, where I am, this is what I'm doing right now. To show that leadership in the community and say, look, I've done it, I've been there, I've done it before. Um, if I can, you can. 
So some of the really good outcomes we've had from pre-employment programs is that these guys get the skills, the confidence, they get the human factor skills, they go on to do their traineeships and then they get work across the industry on major projects. It's important for mega projects like Sydney Metro to have a long-term view around you know, achieving best practice, global outcomes, mainly because we have such big influence in the supply chain. We do believe that Sydney Metro is leading the way in sustainability. However, we're not going to rest on our laurels. We want to improve on that. What we were doing in 2012, we definitely want to improve on for 2018 and for our future projects that don't come online until the late 2020s. Welcome to Sydney Metro, Australia's biggest public transport project.